Welcome to Motors and Medicine. On today's episode, I'm working on my uh, 21 Bronco again. Uh, this time I'm underneath it right now and I'm going to be installing um, the full undercarriage body armor uh, by uh, ARB. Great company. They've been around a long time. They sell really high quality parts. And in my case, um, because I had purchased the Big Ben Bronco, it did not come with um, uh, undercarriage uh, skid protection at all. Um, it had two pieces, one for the uh, one for the front and one underneath uh, the uh, front diff, but they were made out of plastic. Um, so really not much protection if you're off-roading. And since I'm gonna be doing pretty good off-roading in this vehicle, I wanted to get good protection. So this first piece that I'm gonna be installing is the front diff cover. And so what I'm gonna do is just kinda set, set you guys down as I install this first piece and uh, we'll go from there, see how it ends up looking. So without further ado, we'll get going. All right, I'm gonna set you guys down. All right. them down all right all right so now you guys can see this first panel has been attached uh, then we're going to move on to the front panel, and then we'll go from there. All right. So now we're back. Now i uh, moved on to the front panel, and I'm going to be basically just kind of sandwiching it uh, onto the, the middle diff panel and then bolting it to the front here loosely. So we'll go from there now. Okay, so now you guys can see that front panel in place. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fasten up these bolts and uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now I've moved on to uh, the middle. The, you, you guys saw earlier that I mounted the diff cover and then the front cover. 
Now we're in the middle. We're going to mount uh, and do the uh, transmission cover. So that's what's next. I'm just going to slide that on and let's see how it uh, lines up. All right, so now you guys can see that the middle transmission cover has been installed. And so now I'm just gonna fasten these bolts down and then we'll move on to the next piece. All right, so now I'm gonna install the um, transfer case cover and uh, we'll see how that ends up looking. So let's get right to it. All right, so now you guys can see the uh, transfer case cover has been loosely installed. Um, now I'm just gonna torque this down and then we'll, uh, we'll finish up. I'll do, after I torque everything down, I'm gonna just kinda go from the front to back showing you how it looks fully installed and uh, we'll end the video. All right, man, hang on one sec. All right, guys, I finished up with uh, torquing down all the bolts to spec now. So now we're just gonna do a quick review uh, actually a quick look over just to see how it looks the finished product. So I'll start here in front You can kind of see How it goes there 
And then you can see how far back it goes. All those last pieces over there. All right, now I'm gonna walk over here and just kind of get a peek from the side here. All right, so um, man, I hope that uh, this uh, armor really helps out when I go back to Moab and uh, hopefully I don't do any more damage underneath my undercarriage like I did the first time I went. But uh, you know, this install was pretty straightforward. I'm gonna put a link in the description um, for the ARB Under Armour. And uh, it cost about $700, uh, which is very competitive compared to some of the other uh, brands out there. But uh, I've, trust, I've trusted ARB in the past, and uh, I think they're a good company. Um, so like always, hopefully this uh, video was uh, informative of, you know, what can be done on, on the underside of the new Broncos uh, to protect them. And of course, you know, it's sad that uh, even though this is touted as a major off-road vehicle, my particular... Um, Trim level did not come with uh, undercarriage armor, which is strange to me. Uh, it had two, you know, gimpy pieces of plastic in the front, which were like more like splash guards than uh, actual protection. And so, yeah, now when it's got full armor underneath, I can definitely take it off-road with confidence and not worry about damaging anything. So, uh, yeah, like always, like and subscribe. Hit the Hit the thumbs up button for sure. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. I'm going to get back into the medicine and I'm going to talk about uh, something that's applicable to everybody on a daily basis. So uh, until then, uh, this is Motors and Medicine signing off. Have a good one.